Hello everybody, I'm Nick and welcome to another episode of CodeCop, the series where I find questionable advice about programming and clean code tips and that sort of thing, and I try to turn it into good advice. Now, that sort of advice is everywhere, but one of the best places to find that advice is LinkedIn because of how the algorithm will promote just anything irrelevant of how good it is. So in this video, I have one of these very uh, bad types of advices that actually was recommended by one of you, Maximilian tagged me on this post and he said, Nick Chaps is another questionable clean code example, which means that we're winning because I actually tend to see less and less of that bad advice as the series goes on and gets more popular. So if you see questionable advice anywhere, not just on LinkedIn, tag me, send it over, and I will take a look at it and potentially make a video on it. Now, as always with these videos, the creator has been anonymized because it is not about the creator themselves, but about the clean code advice. So we're going to focus just on the advice. If you like that content and you want to see more, make you subscribe for more training, check out my courses on dometrain.com. Okay, so let's take a look at the advice. But before that, I want to show you that People actually go, ah, this is amazing advice, that's great. Like, it's not something that I just find that nobody has ever looked at. The algorithm will promote those types of advices based on reactions, any sort of reactions, and most of them, as you can see, are positive. In fact, all of them are positive. So those are not some obscure things that don't exist. You see them, or at least I see them, all the time on my timeline. Now let's take a look at the advice itself. Now the text of the advice goes as follows. C sharp clean code tip, tenery operator, the question mark and then the colon. Tenery operator is a short form of an if else conditions. The tenery operator starts with a Boolean condition. If the condition evaluates to true, then it executes the first statement. Otherwise it goes to the second. So this is all that there is to the context of the image I'm going to show you. There's nothing else I'm hiding. So this is just sold as basically use the tenery operator when you can, when you have an if else condition. And let's take a look at the code snippet that is served to us as the that's what you should do. Yep. Okay, so let's start with the first, the, the, the bad type of code that you have, or you have an if, else if, else if, else if. Now, if you know me from Beauty for a long time, you know that I sort of hate this type of code. And if this was me, I would have written this in a completely different way. In fact, I'm going to show you later in the video how we can actually rewrite this in a better way. But besides the point, do not use the is operator to compare strings. It's a very weird way to compare strings and it's not really a safe way to compare strings use something appropriate for comparing strings like string comparisons based on the culture the case normalization like things that are built for comparing strings now besides the point you have an if else if else if else which you know is a type of code i hate and we're gonna see how we can refactor this later in the video but you have code that is fairly easily readable now you could say why don't you just set the environment to the development environment that's because as you can see over here it's called pre-prod in the environment variable but the user wants to use prp and prd here so even the example is flawed because like what is the point of just having this shorthand why can't you just use the name on the environment in the parameter but that's fine we can look past that and we can see that we have a perfectly readable fine dodgy looking code but there's nothing fundamentally wrong with it in my opinion actually the is operator is the biggest problem with this piece of code i wouldn't do string comparison this way in c sharp but what's the suggestion <laughs> you use the ternary operator which means you go with environment is uat is it uat okay then use uat otherwise is the environment pre-prod okay then use pre-prod oh and then it's like and you have to keep going now if you don't understand what's wrong with this piece of code i'll tell you it's kind of long. <laughs> okay, that is not just the problem. The problem is that it's very, very, very hard to read. Imagine that you want to know what happens just by looking at this. You have to go check every previous condition before you go into the, the one you're interested in. So tenory operators are fine if it's for something very short. And in fact, if it was just about environment is something, otherwise it's something else, fine, use it. It is perfect. But when you have multiple chain tenory operators, that is... How do you justify this as a clean code tip? It is terrible. The only clean thing you could justify about this here is that it's one line of code that doesn't even mean anything. One line of code or less lines of code doesn't mean cleaner code. In fact, most times it means 
worse code because you're trying to smooth way too much in a very small space. Like at least you could new line on every else statement to make this look a bit better. Now, just to give a bit of more context with everything and start playing around with the code, I'm going to go into the ID and I've written this example over here so we can play around with it. So we start with this, which by the way, I wouldn't code it this way. There's this weird space that for some reason the creator added after every else if, which if you're not going to use Kelly braces, then do that. And now I'm assuming that they did this because it is, in my opinion, a bit harder to read this way. So you could just use the um, add braces refactoring, to sort of try and make it read a bit better. But even then, if you want to refactor this piece of code to what they had, which is basically this, then as you can see, that that, that is uh, why. Why? It's such a pointless change that even writers, my IDs, refactorings, don't have it as a suggestion. Usually you have these sort of shorthand suggestions, but the one you're getting here is, well, the two ones that only make sense. Use a switch statement. So now do something like this, which again, I'm not a big fan of because I'm a bigger fan of the switch expression. And look how much better this is, how more expressive it is, how more direct it is, and way less bloated. Now, all you have is say config development environment equals environment switch on the environment and then basically build a bit of a map here to say if it's this then this then this and if it's a default fall back into empty string in what universe would this be worse than this i don't even know what's happening here why is it even there and in fact my id writer it recommends a refactoring to the switch expression from the ternary operator because it is better, it looks better. Why would you shoot yourself on the foot by having these chain ternary operators? Don't, don't do this, never do this. Now, this isn't the only way you can write this. You can sort of have the same type of logic as well, but with a map. By map, I mean that you can have a dictionary which sort of maps out your environment. So you can say from UAT to UAT, from pre-prod to PRP, and from prod to PRD. And then to get the environment appropriate to the one that's incoming, you can do something like environment equals environment map, get value or default. If you find an environment, give it back. If you don't, string or empty, and then set that to the parameter. So both of these approaches, in my opinion, are way better. I would sort of wrap this into some sort of method. I wouldn't just expose it to everything, uh, but I would just go ahead and use this in my code. Why would you use the tenor operator? It's just so, so weird. Now, as always, I want to know your thoughts in the description down below. If you have an alternative or a different way you would do this, please leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you genuinely prefer the tenary operator approach, let me know as well why, because I might be missing something. As always, if you find questionable clean code examples, please tag me or send them over and I might make a video on them. Well, that's all I have for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching and as always, keep coding.